Hello everyone, Mr. Merkid here, and today I'm going to be sh showing you something which has been highly requested sort of thing, uh, and that is compiling .dll assemblies into the one .exe file, so you don't have to have multiple files in the directory uh, for, it to, for the software to run. Uh, so this just, what we're going to achieve is having just one .exe that contains all of the .dll libraries, so you don't have to have them all. So you'll just have one file and it'll work just the same as if you were to have all five separately which is better because you don't have to distribute like five files instead of just the one so yeah it's much better in many cases uh, this is just like an example project I made and what I did was I literally I've just made it inherit from the dev components DLL so it requires a DLL so I can show you an example uh, so yeah what I've done is I've come to the debug folder and if you want to know how you get to that is you just go to your visual basic uh, file folder sorry in the documents folder and you come into projects and you just locate it and you go all the way into the debug folder and you'll find your application file and you'll find your DLL library as you can see we've got dev components uh, so you just want to copy them to and bring them somewhere easy to access which will just be the desktop in which I'm going to be showing you uh, it's easy to access and you're going to need to download a program called IL Merge. Now it's Microsoft made it, it's free to download, I'll put a link in the description for you. But when you get it, you won't have this file which I'm actually going to delete. It was a config and also the commands which we are going to be using to save us a bit of time. But you'll get these three files. It's a console file, you don't actually use this, you access it through uh, command prompt you can see it's on my desktop so we'll open command prompt up now and what we do to access this file is we type CD which enables us to uh, locate to a different directory and we just want to go to the desktop because by default when you open command it just goes to your little username and we want to go to CD and go into the IL merge folder that just enables us to target our exe which is inside this folder the IR merge one uh, so in here we can type the command which we need obviously uh, this is a bit of a t little tutorial which I'll also leave in the description uh, or if you've got any issues it explains a bit of commands and it explains an example but this example actually had a problem which I've resolved which is here I'll explain that later on the reason I've got this is to save us time because when I was testing I had a couple of issues uh, and after a few times of typing this out I got a bit bored so I just was copying it to save me a lot of time so yeah uh, open up command prompt I'm gonna paste this in but I will show you how it works and what everything does so first off you just want to type the IL merge command to let it, let it know you want to use it and then you can see I've just put a space between there and I've located my test file which is ilmergetest.exe and remember you've got to locate it through your C drive users, your username, desktop and then the file which obviously is here on my desktop and then obviously we've got the space between the exe and I'm locating the DLL file which is also on my desktop if you have more than one DLL it's perfectly fine to compile them but remember you just got to do a space and locate that one too individually and yeah that is it you locate your files which you want to input first before you do any other command and you see I've got a space and a forward slash out it's basically the out command which is short for output uh, basically you need to pick where your file which is going to be compiled uh, where you want it to go you'll see here I've got out remember to put a colon before you locate the file but as you can see here I've located it to my desktop and I've just called it tool uh, you want to remember to put the .exe extension on the end to just let it know what you want to do and also I've got another command uh, remember again you need to put the space in between forward slash target and a colon we got win exe it's basically letting IL merge know that you want to uh, achieve a .exe file 
and also we got one more command which is what I was having trouble with which is forward slash target platform and what this does is it allows you to reference or locate to a different version of net framework because I was having a compile error where it wouldn't locate one of the assemblies or libraries it needed and that's because I was using an older or newer version of .NET Framework. It didn't quite make sense to me. Uh, but a bit of research online told me that there was an issue with the new framework, so you had to actually use the target platform command to locate it. Either way, this will be in the description for you to save you a bit of time too. Uh, so yeah, you just want to locate your .NET Framework. And remember, you can change this number too. So if you wanted 4.5, you'll just put 4.5 here. And that's pretty much it for the command. Uh, you'll just hit enter and it will compile it for you just once again I'll run over this so you got I'll merge locate your dot exe and your dot dll uh, you also got the out command to tell it where you want to build you got the target to tell it you want to build an exe and then we're just locating our net framework uh, all after that you just want to hit enter and it will compile it for us if we go to the desktop to see it it should create us a file there we go, we've got our file uh, and you know it's done when you're allowed to type and it will tell you here we go, that's when you know it's done when we could type again uh, it doesn't actually say success which is a bit weird but that doesn't really bother me uh, one way to check, if you get any errors here it will display it in red, it will tell you the error if, if you can, you can just google it usually that's a good place for help for this kind of thing uh, so yeah, well, another way is if you hover over the file, you can see that the size of the file is 5.04 megabytes. Whereas if it was, well, whereas if it failed to compile, it'll probably just be zero bytes. That's how you know it would have not done correctly, and you've done something wrong. Uh, so yeah, uh, what well, we can shut IR merge now. We don't need it anymore, uh, and I'll shut Visual Studio too. Uh, but if I was to open this file, this one requires this to run. Uh, so if I open that, you can see it opens fine, and I'll shut it. If I was to delete this file, this file would no longer run because it required the DLL to run. So if I open it, it probably wouldn't even open. If it does, it will show us an error. As you can see, it's not opening instantly like it did before. Uh, it's not actually opening at all. That's because it required that file. So we can just delete that and we can delete that because that's something IR merge creates that we don't want whereas this tool which is obviously the same program but we don't need the DLL to run it so we can open it opens fine that's because the DLL is compiled within it all so it's pretty easy uh, if you're a developer and you have multiple DLLs it can look kinda messy in a directory where you gotta have all four or whatever however many you have inside that one directory so if you compile it all into one file it's much neater uh, you don't require all of the files to be messy and it, all in all it's just easier it's just easier for everything um, so I, I hope I could help you if you've got any issues you can comment them and I'll try my best to help you I'm kind of new to IR merge and compiling stuff like this too so I might not be able to help you too much but yeah hopefully I solved your issues in compiling files together and if I did, please leave a like and a comment, and I'll see you next time.